public equities. I think it's really just going to be one blockchain or really a private chain that's going to garner the majority of this, or maybe maybe even the whole thing. And that is Corda. I think that they're going to get the majority of this. You could have Polymesh, you know, they have public and private networks, but I think almost all of the public equities are going to end up on Corda and they're going to settle back in through, through XRP or XDC, most likely XRP. So let's talk about the numbers. What does this actually look like? Today, there's about $115 trillion in stocks global. And the total daily volume across all of those is around $500 billion worth of trading on the back end between the clearinghouses and the brokers. And they don't settle real time. They settle T plus one. And that's why you need Project Ion and Corda to be able to settle these real time, to be able to allow them to de-risk and not have anything happen like AMC or GameStop when we had the big run on those stocks and they had to halt trading and people were upset. What's been tokenized up to this point that's available to the public is only $15 billion. Very small in comparison. And and people that have currently done that are backed finance and, and Syntex. And you also have Sologenic that's like talked a lot about it, but really hasn't done much. So those two companies operate on the EVM base networks, Ethereum, Polygon, and then you also have Optimism. And again, they really haven't gained much of the market on this, it's only 0.013% of total public equities that have been tokenized by either of these parties. And I think, again, that's because in the background, we already know who the winner's going to be. This is just my speculation. 